Hello everybody, welcome to what, this should be the last of the Sauna Chronicles. So I did already do one video, these videos take ages to uh, get sorted out. Uploading takes 20 minutes because the internet is terrible here. And then downloading takes 10 minutes. Then rendering the video or making a video doesn't take as long, but then it takes equally two to three hours to try and get video. It takes a long time, is the point. Uh, look, this video should hopefully be the last one. There are a few things on the forum that I do need to check up on. Uh, give you a good example. There's mastery points within Act 4 that needs to be uh, looked into. There's some stuff people are looking at when it comes to the nodes. Uh, there's some stuff that Kabam Mike, Kabam Jax have both responded to that I need to... There's the Sigil Store update. There's a lot of things to go over. When I'm back, I'll do an MCN. Maybe not tomorrow, but I'll try um, to, to get one out over the weekend. But this video is not about any of that. This video is about the fantastic Champions of the Damned. So I want to give props to Kabam on this one because I really... This is, this is actually... My, one of my top five, if not my favourite uh, motion comic or champion specials, champion gameplay uh, type early look type video. Uh, because you see gameplay, believe it or not, in the uh, in the video. So I'm going to play this and then just correct a few things. I don't know if the internet quality is going to be good enough to hold in here. So that's, that's one thing that could be a bit annoying. So I'm going to play it through once. Um, I love the black and white uh, motif of everything, uh, the Champions of the Damned. And it goes into like this, well, like Van Helsing type backdrop, like uh, Transylvania type, type um, backdrop. And I think this is this is where like the, the team that put this together, I'm not sure who, why, how uh, this was put together, but uh, I mean, obviously why is like, because it's brilliant. But the animation side of things, the cinematic, um, is so darn important. And especially with having Morbius in there, even though Morbius may not be 100% attached to uh, this element of kind of Transylvania type element to it, but it's this kind of like this spooky backdrop that's just so well done. And we like this. Um, we like this element of, um, of stuff. And then it goes to like light and you go straight into the uh, fight between Morbius and uh, to um, uh, to Werewolf by Night in their kind of battle to the depth. The first kind of like special, or the animation you've seen of Morbius is that he does slashes his opponents with razor sharp claws. I think there's some element, some point coming up where he just kind of like, uh, what is it? Uh, sucks their blood. Feast, that's it. Uh, Morbius sinks his teeth into his opponent, draining their life force which could be like regeneration. That makes more sense to be like a regeneration type factor to all of this one. So, you know, cool. That is uh, what we want to see from Morbius. We want to see him like a as a bad, bad dude. Um, if the answer was, Richard, is the internet holding out here? The answer is no. But uh, I think what I can do is I can hit pause and I can have a look. At, I can have a look at some... I'll be replaying the video, like I'll be replaying the uh, the motion comic for everybody to see. Uh, well, not motion comic, the specials. But it's well put together, like it's really darn good. Um, it's kind of well, like think what are they? What's, what's it? Ah, oh, it's so annoying when the internet quality isn't isn't great. But anyway, like what we can do is we can talk about what's good about these champions. I mean, look, you have to living under a rock not to know that these champions were a thing. We talked about it about three weeks ago that Werewolf by Night was put into the live stream as a teaser, which is good because he gets up the head, uh, gets ahead of those that leak stuff within Marvel Contest of Champions. That's the first thing. The second thing is that these are well designed. The animations look sick. Of course they do because animations, uh, the animations team at Kabam, the art team at Kabam, don't miss. Uh, they do a fantastic job. There's just so many things to be positive about with these two characters. I think this is a great spooky halloween -y type month. Uh, we'll be covering side quest based stuff, I think tomorrow. If I'm back in time, I will try to. Uh, if not, um, yeah, I'm hoping I get back in time because I want to get back in time, make a video on the side quest stuff that's happening. Uh, just a quick video, 
Then we've got the live stream. Then we've got all the stuff that information wise is dropping um, from that. And there'll probably be some really kind of juicy nuggets of information we can go off uh, in that particular uh, bit of coverage. But back to the point, those two champions, they've always been always been kind of already been revealed. We know about Morbius ages ago. Um, you know, we got an opportunity this month to get him. I think Caban have done a great job of making this a Halloween themed event. One day, and as many other players as well say this, I'd love to see a MCC Zombies type event. Um, that was one kind of a side quest based event that I would pitch. I think they did a great job with um, Cosmic Horror back in 2021. Uh, I don't know what they did last year, but uh, yeah, I'd like to see um, more kind of like taps into Halloween. Uh, taps into Halloween! That could be what it, what it'd be called because we literally, or swipe into Halloween um, type, type event. Uh, but yeah. Uh, these two champions look amazing. I like the abilities that are being showcased in bunny ears. I'm saying showcased because you do see them as part of gameplay uh, and they're just general movements, but there's nothing so, you know discerning that uh, we can say, okay, that's definitely in the kit of the abilities. It's just the case of like when Morbius's thing pops up saying, if these, then and it takes life force, you naturally go, this is meant to be a... Um, regeneration champion similar to like um the sp1 of, of rogue so that's kind of like where I, I kind of that could mean that this champion has a lot of sustainability one thing that i haven't seen a you know survivability type champion uh you know on the same level of the likes of rogue king groot uh you know any champion that regenerates or can rapidly or continually regenerate you know, as soon as we've got a new champion like that in, I think this is this could be like one of those those uh, those cool options. But yeah, that's really it for the video, and that's really it for for coverage today. I want to say, um, we'll have to see. Like, I don't think I don't think I've got the time to make any other kind of content or videos. So I want to say that this is probably going to be it for today. Uh, for, and, and this should be the last sauna. Chronicles type video. Uh, I haven't actually used this sauna once except for to make videos in because you know I don't want to disturb everyone else. I don't want to go into a room which you can hear me talking about stuff to do with Marvel swipe and tap game. Um, but thank you very much for understanding. Uh, and uh, yeah, I should really, I don't really take a break. I there's there's time like when we've got four hours and we're not doing anything but sitting around, I kind of think oh, I can make a video so. Here's a video. And I've been recording off my iPad and my little iPhone 11. But anyway, so that's been a video. I thank you very much for watching. These two champions look amazing as uh, my my laptop screen circles and whirly whirlies around. Um, but yeah, looks uh, looks amazing. And uh, I'm looking forward to talking about some of the abilities, what these champions do, and also seeing um, Karate Mike's uh, deep dives. Watch, watch out. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a lovely day. See you there. Bye bye.